Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hide the Amazing, Spectacular, Terrific, The Great One, The People's Champion, your host, uh, The Hut, uh, and here we are back at the Baseball Hut 2. Hope you like this video, hit that subscribe button. We're going to talk about Dylan Cease. Uh, there's sort of been a lot of rumors out there. Uh, the recent rumor, and actually one, just the rumors that the general manager, uh, Chris Getz of the, uh, the White Sox, has said that they're probably not going to move him, but we'll see so many rumors out there, and people coming up with all kinds of trade packages. So here we go from the Bleacher Report. Realistic Dylan Cease trade packages for the Yankees and every potential suitor. And it's right by it doesn't matter. That's right. Dark horses to consider. We're just going to skip to the team. That's all you care about. That's all I care about. The Cincinnati Reds. The Reds have already made two additions to the starting rotation, signing Frankie Montas and Nick Martinez in free agency. So they could be done addressing a staff that was a clear weakness in 2023. Those two newcomers will join a combination of Hunter Green, Andrew Abbott, Graham Ashcroft, Nick Lodolo, Brandon Williamson, and Connor Phillips. Okay. The Los Angeles Dodgers. Never rule out the tax dodgers. I mean the Dodgers, who had the financial means and the prospect count and the, the cunning and scheming to be major players to anyone they decide to target with. With Yashinobu Yamamoto and Tyler Glasnow already added to the mix this offseason and Walker Buehler on the men from Tommy John surgery, the staff could be complete. From the San Diego Padres, with Blake Schnell, Seth Lugo, and Michael Walker all departing in free agency, the, the Padres' current projected rotations, Yul Darvish, Joel Musgrove, Michael King, and two big question marks. I would put Michael King as a question mark, too. The focal, he's the big player that was acquired by the by the Padres for Juan Soto. He's been a middle reliever. He's a question mark in my view. The, but there's no pressure in San Diego to pitch well or play well, especially since now they're starting to, to move these big contracts. The focal point of the, the offseason has been cutting costs, but he's only projected to make and earn $8.8 .8 million in arbitration, so he could potentially fit into their plans. The question is whether a tooling team will part of high-end prospect talent. The St. Louis Cardinals. The munchkin Ken Rosendahl of the Athletic lists the Cardinals as speculative contenders for seats. So we'll include them here on our list of dark horse suitors. They move quickly to add Sonny Gray, Kyle Gibson, and Lance Lynn. And free agency to, staff, to a staff that already includes Miles Mikolos and Steven Matz. But they have some superfluous, he's for me to say, position players. And seats would still be a clear upgrade. The Tampa Bay Rays. Reasonable price point fits for the Rays team that has to consider every dollar they spend and they have the prospect town to swing a, a major deal. The splashy trade is not their usual approach, but with Zach Little, Ryan Pipiot, and Taj Bradley currently projected to fill out the back of the rotation, they could make adding a top end arm a priority. That's doubtful, in my view. The Baltimore Orioles. Here's the trade proposal for the Baltimore Orioles. Let's take a look and see what they say for them. Okay. Uh, trade proposal. Orioles acquired right-handed pitcher Dylan Cease in exchange for infielder Jordan Westberg and now for the Colton Cowser. With wealth the young position ta player talent, there's no question the Orioles have the controllable pieces to swing a blockbuster deal. They could offer the White Sox their pick of two players, two guys from the group of Jordan Westberg, Colton Cowser, Heston Kajestad, and Joey Ortiz, who are all MLB-ready pieces that the South Sides could immediately plug into their 2024 plans. Uh, the above proposal would be a tough offer for other teams to beat, considering Westberg was a consensus top 25 prospect before making his MLB debut last season. Alcazar recently checked in at number 18 on the Bleacher Report's update top 100 prospect list for 2024. Two controllable MLB ready pieces for an established frontline pitcher with two years of con club control. Remaining looks like a fair deal for all involved. The Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox acquired Dylan Cease in exchange for second baseman Nick York, right handed pitcher Wilkelman Gonzalez, and shortstop Yolene Cespedes. This trade proposal is lacking in one elite level prospect, but it gives the White Sox a good all around return with one MLB ready piece and two high and upside lottery tickets. Nick York hit 268 with 350, 435 with 25 home runs, 25 doubles, 
13 home runs, 61 RBIs, and 18 steals and 110 stone bases at double A. And with a 55 hit, 50 power offensive profile, he could be the White Sox starting second baseman by the All Star break. Right hander Wilkham and Gonzalez is arguably the top pitching prospect of 21 in the Boston system after racking up 168 strikeouts and 111 and a third innings between high A and double A, though his command is spotty at best. Teenager Yolene Cespedes hit 346 with 25 extra base hits in 46 games, Dominican Summer League in 23, after signing for $1.4 million in January. Stateside debut could send his prospects stock soaring. The Chicago Cubs. Cubs acquired Dylan Cease in exchange with right-handed pitcher Javier Assad, outfielder Kevin Alcantara, infielder James Triantos, and, and, and first baseman Hayden McGreary. What a, full second for, with the, what a full circle moment would be for the Cubs to reacquire Cease after he was originally drafted by the organization and traded to the White Sox, along with Eloy Jimenez and two other prospects in exchange for Jose Quintana at the 2017 trade deadline. The North had had to pay a rivalry premium in that trade, and the above pro- proposal takes that potential cost into consideration once again. Javier Assad had a 3.05 ERA and 109 and a third innings in the majors last season and comes with club control to the 2028 season, so he would be an immediate replacement for Cease in the White Sox rotation. Outfielder Kevin Alcantara and infielder James Triantos were both ranked among the next 50 or Black Bleacher Report's latest top 100 prospect list. Alcantara is a talented six foot six slugger with huge offensive upside, while Triantos just won Offensive Player of the Year honors in the Arizona Fall League. Rounding out the package is Hayden McGreary, who offers a limited defensive and athletic profile but posts an 859 OPS with 19 home runs and 88 RBIs in 23. He set the all-time D3 home run record with 75 long balls and 163 games at Colorado Mesa University before going in the 15th round of the 2022 draft. The New York Mets. The Mets acquired right-handed pitcher Dylan Cease in exchange for shortstop Luis Angel Cunha, catcher Kevin Parada, right-handed pitcher Christian Scott, right-handed pitcher Ramon Gomez. The Mets had a nice job of stock in the farm system at the trade deadline but they would almost certainly have to part with one of the top prospects they acquired in the Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander deals, shortstop Lewis and Acuna, and now for the Drew Gilbert. Pairing one of those top-tier prospects with 2022 MLB uh, first-round pick, Kevin Parada would be a good starting point in negotiations and would give the White Sox a good long-term outlook at catcher after Edgar Quero was acquired over the summer. A mainly 23 season from Parada likely means Secondary prospect pieces would need to be a bit more valuable than some of these other proposals. Right-handed Christian Scott finished with a 2.57 ERA, a 0.86 whip, and a 107-12 strikeout walk rate in 87 and two-thirds innings across three minor league levels. While Ramon Gomez possesses a 70-grade fastball and is an intriguing flyer as he works his way back from Tommy John surgery. Now, about this proposal real quickly, uh, Christian Scott is considered to be the best, best prospect in terms of as a pitcher. I don't know if they would be willing to part with him. Uh, the New York Yankees. Yankees acquired Dylan Cease in exchange for outfielder Spencer Jones, right-handed pitcher Will Warren, catcher first baseman Ben Rice, third baseman Tyler Hardman, and left-handed pitcher Edgar Barkley. I would mention, even though we have these these lists, a lot of people do not consider the Yankees' farm system that good, and this 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 uh, uh, quantity tells you. Assuming uh, Jason Dominguez is off limits in trade talks, and Chase Hampton will also be a non-starter at the fellow top pro- pitching prospect, Drew Thorpe was moved in, that, in the Juan Soto deal. Alfil Spencer Jones and Everson Pereira are, are the most logical potential centerpieces in the C deal. Neither is consensus top 100 prospect, though, so it would take a significant collection of secondary pieces to put together a comp- competitive offer. Will Warren has a 3.63 ERA and 274 innings and 258 inning, uh, innings since going in the eighth round of the 2021 draft, and he closed out the 23 season at Triple A, so he could be a candidate for a long for his first big league action at some point in 24. Ben Rice hits 20 home runs in 70 and 73 games, and Tyler Hartman hit 26 home runs in 77 games. 
are both bat first prospects coming off strong seasons in the minors, while Edgar Barclay is a crafty left hander who tallied 100 strikeouts in 78 at third innings and could make a major impact out of the bullpen. And f I think finally, finally, no, it's two more. The San Francisco Giants. The Giants acquired right handed pitcher Don Cease, D.H. Eloy Jimenez, and he's just a big blockbuster. In exchange for Kyle Harrison, who's the number one prospect with the Giants, uh, right handed pitcher Tristan Beck, outfielder Helio Ramos, Ramos, outfielder Wade Meckler, right handed pitcher Mason Black, and right handed pitcher Landon Roop. There's a lot of names here. I'm not reading all these names. <laughs> Next, the final proposal. The Texas Rangers. Rangers haven't done enough. They haven't won World Series in, well, like four months, three months. They bought their World Series, by the way. No one talks about them buying it. Uh, Rangers acquired right-handed pitcher Don Cease. Left-handed pitcher Garrett Crochet. In exchange for infielder Justin Bosco. Right-handed pitcher Owen White. First baseman outfielder Dustin Harris. First baseman... Obamelik Ortiz, right-handed pitcher Josh Stefan, and right-handed pitcher Manlio <laughs> Tioto. Now, this is a pretty massive deal. These last two deals are pretty massive. Uh, but you let me know what you think about this video, of course. Please subscribe to Baseball Hut 2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.